So I just want to make a really quick video. Uh, sorry about my voice and everything. I'm just getting over a cold or whatever because I just quit smoking. But I want to talk about the stages of personal growth. So number one, of course, is like beginner, you're, you're green. Um, you might have values right now or, or beliefs that are limiting. Um, and in that case, I think it's beneficial just to analyze really quickly, like what are the things that you believe to be true? Like they might be true, but are they limiting you in progressing towards becoming a better, more whole rounded human being? So for example, I used to believe that like carbohydrates were good for me, like, like rice and stuff like that. I thought that was great. Now, the more that I read and, and I research that kind of thing and look at studies and look at people that know far more than I know, I've realized that carbs in fact are some of the hardest to digest, the lowest in nutrient, nutrient density. Um, and now I've changed to being like, I've tried all these different diets like vegan and uh, pescatarian and vegetarian. I've tried all of them. And the one that I felt the best on, which has taken me like four years to actually like acquire the knowledge to know this, is mostly meat, greens for carbohydrates, because those carbohydrates are a lot easier to digest, um, especially if you pre-cook them or you, you know, steam them. Um, and then things like fruits, because fruits, if you think about it, fruits are made to be digested. They want you to take their seeds, flush them out, you know, put them all over the, uh, the ground and everything, and then hopefully they reproduce a new plant. That's my experience with like the beginner level, just to give you an idea. And then you can think about this more on your own about what, you know, what that, what, what those things look like now and what you maybe want to transfer to becoming in the future. Number two, I would say is like the trial and error phase where you just have to try things yourself, experiment like, I, like I've done and then see what works and see what doesn't work. And that's how I've come to these cal calculations. That's how I've come to these realizations of what works for me, what doesn't work for me. And everyone is so different and unique. Our body types, our you know, our genetics, like where we were born, where we were raised, uh, as well as our ancestry and what our ancestors used to eat. I'm just talking about eating because it's kind of on my mind right now, but it works for all things: uh, personal development, fitness. You know, what kind of fitness regimen you're uh, better at, and what brings you energy versus takes away energy from you. And for that, of course, it's just a matter of like, okay, these are my values right now. Um, challenging them seeing what works, see, seeing what doesn't work. But in the first place, you do need to admit like, okay, you have to question your, your values that you have currently. Like maybe these aren't totally serving me. Uh, maybe there's a different route that I could take because if you don't admit that, and, and it, it's hard to do because it almost admits weakness and fault in your own way of being. Um, but in order to progress, you do have to do that. Number three is kind of the fruition of goals. Then once you start to challenge these beliefs, slowly you'll you'll start to realize and you'll start to like manifest things in your life that you didn't really think were possible like let's say like four or five years ago in my case um, and now it's it's like these values that i'm changing are slowly having an effect on my mental health on my fitness on my physical being um, which is really incredible to see especially with like my beliefs around money i used to be so stingy and cheap with money and now I buy things that are investing in my long-term goals that challenge the way of thinking I used to think. So it's like saving a lot of money. I can't, I can't think that way and buy things that I think are maybe unnecessary. Example, healthy food, more expensive. It's an investment into my well-being. I'm willing to do that now. Before I would never be willing to do that. I would say money is too valuable. If I want to be rich, I need to save, save, save. Um, but in fact, investing in these things is making me progress faster. Number four is mastery, and that's where you've kind of done like the 10,000 hours rule, where you've done something for so long, um, and you've, you've learned so much that you've ba you're basically a master at that area. For me, that's like I'm trying to master well-being, trying to master like happiness, fitness, being happy, or being healthy, being happy. Number four is like mastery, which of course I've not accomplished, but I feel like I'm, I'm on the road to that place, and it, Here's the thing, if that takes me five to 10 years, maybe 15, 20, I'm totally okay with that. Before I wouldn't have been okay with that. And I would have said, I have to, I have to like become this totally different person within a year, two years and transform my life completely. And I've realized in the last four years of like self-sabotaging and not progressing at all, that if I would have just made small progress throughout those four years, I would have been in a completely different place now. And I've only started to realize that within like the last year basically, which is really exciting because I know that starting now with the different beliefs that I have that I've adopted in four years, in a, like in another four years or in like five to 10 years, my life is gonna be completely different. And I'm okay with it taking that long because I'm happy now. Like I'm happy 
I'm happy in the process, uh, which before I wasn't happy unless I was like progressing at an extreme level. Like today I'm feeling sick. I didn't do anything. I, uh, you know, I went out, ran some errands and everything and old me would have beat myself up, said you're not progressing enough, which the thing with that is it doesn't help you progress. So why would you do that, right? So overall, I think basically it's like any progress is good progress. So long as you're moving towards your goal, the time frame doesn't matter as much. Um, and especially with me and like fitness, it's like if I can just work out like three times a week and when I say work out, I mean like just do some pull-ups, do a little bit on the bench, you know, like just an overall, you know, basic uh, workout, especially going for walks. That to me is enough. And if you think about it, what that's doing in your body, that is enough. I mean, that's a, and that's a whole lot better than sitting around for a week and eating Doritos and not doing anything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully that makes sense and you found it valuable. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Motherfucking well, eat.